So hello you guys and welcome back to my channel. <laughs> this is my second time filming this because the first time hmm, did not go well. Let's just say that. So oh, how have you all been? It feels like it's been forever since I sat down to talk to you guys face to face. Don't mind me while I just real quickly finish painting my nails. I'm going through this phase where I'm like obsessed with nail varnish. I'm not really sure why. But fucking there you have it. Let's just hope I'm far enough away from the camera that you guys don't see that I've just painted half my fingers as well as the nails. But anyway, so you guys, how have you been? I hope you've been well. It feels like it's been a long time. I know it has been, but I've been pretty busy with stuff. That's just hard to explain. Um, but yeah, I'm still here. For those of you that follow my YouTube and that like enjoy my videos and stuff, first of all, thanks. Second of all, uh, maybe follow me on Twitter. I'm not one of those people that was trying to like push, like, follow me on Twitter, this, that, and the other, blah, 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 blah. It's just that I am more active on Twitter. I'm on Twitter fucking constantly and it's easier to keep you guys updated regarding the channel on Twitter. I'm uploading a video or if I'm not going to be uploading a video, the people on Twitter would know first, I guess. So maybe, you know, if you don't follow me on Twitter and you want to kind of keep up with stuff, maybe give me a follow if you feel inclined. First of all, being... I am going to Dublin Comic Con this weekend. I go every single year. I've talked about it before and I think I did a vlog last year on it. Um, I'm going again this Sunday and I can't wait. It's always so much fun. There's always so much merch there. Oh my god. You go in like, I'm not going to buy anything, okay? I'm a grown-up. I don't need to buy stuff. And then you come out with like six fucking plastic bags full of pop figures and t-shirts and you're like, I regret nothing. So that is my plan for this weekend. During the week then, I got into Preacher. I've had a lot of you guys telling me that I love Preacher, that I should watch it. And anybody that ever mentions Preacher to me mentioned a character called Cassidy who was Irish and I was like okay just because he's Irish doesn't mean I'm gonna like automatically love him you know well I was fucking wrong as soon as he started talking I was like I love him it's just such a weird fucking strange show it's funny but there's such dark moments there's serious moments Cassidy does bring that touch of lightness to the show so does Tulip I love Tulip as well um I'm completely caught up I'm on episode 8 of season 2 we're now at the stage where it's like episode uh, week by week, which sucks. I fucking hate having to wait a week. With shows or movies, I wait until, you know, there's a lot of it out so I can just watch it instead of having to wait, like, week by week. It fucking does my head in, lads. Waiting. Harry Potter nearly finished me off. I got into Harry Potter when the book came out, the Prisoner of Azkaban book came out. And having to wait, like, book by book. Jesus. But yeah, I loved Preacher. Really loved it. And I'm planning on continuing watching it. I talked my mom into watching it, and because we watched it on Amazon Prime, when she logged in, it, it was like my login, so it automatically put her up to speed where I was at the time. So she started watching the show from season 2, episode 2, and watched like four episodes before realising, I don't have any backstory for these characters, I don't know who they are. So she came to me and she was like, who's the dude following Jesse around? Why is he following him? What's going on? And I was like, how are you up to that episode already? And she was like, it's a very fast-moving show, to be fair. And then I twigged what had happened, and I was like, ma'am, you skipped all of season one. But, yeah, I am loving it. And if, you, if, like, if you're looking for something to watch, I would suggest that. But it is a very kind of... Hmm. It's a very particular show. I, I think you'll either love it or you'll hate it. Jesus, for a minute there, I thought I didn't press record. Oh, lads, my hair is fucking insane today. Genie Mac! You probably can't tell because it's so fucking curly. But it is red now. That's a thing that happened. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was accidental. I did not fucking plan it. Basically what happened is I, you guys, if you guys have like been with my channel or follow me on Twitter or anything, if, if you've been with me longer than like a week, you know how impatient I am. You know how bored I get of things easily. So I decided one night, my hair is boring me. I need a change like now. So naturally I got up the next day and like the hairdressers... Female hairdressing places are expensive. Like, really expensive. So I was like, fuck that, I'm going to do it myself. I got this. Because I have dyed my hair before. Thing about it is, I still have bleach in my hair from when I was pink. Yeah. If you guys are new to the channel and you haven't seen the pink hair, it's an experience, I'll give it that. But I still have bleach left in my hair from when it was pink, because bleach doesn't, like, if you fall out of your hair or wash out, it's permanent until it grows out. Dumbass over here, completely fucking forgot that. So I thought I'll just get a regular box of hair dye from the chemist. The chemist is like a pharmacy or some shit. 
in America, I think. They have like all hair dyes in boxes. So I was like, I'll get a nice hair dye and put it in, which I did. I got like a purple hair dye, but well, it wasn't really purple, it was like a violet. And I thought it's going to be so pretty, it's going to be almost black, but kind of purpley in the sun. No. The sides of my hair, because there's no bleach there, because they're the shortest parts, the sides of my hair went fucking purple. And the top of my hair, where the bleach is, stayed black. Lads, I looked a fucking show. <laughs> so my mother took one look at me and was like, oh honey. And I was like, yeah, we gotta go get more dye. So I decided to get what's called a colour stripper or a colour remover. It takes away any fucking colour you have in your hair and leaves you with like a base level. I thought, cool, that'll be great because I have so much dye in my hair. I have like red, no, I have like pink covered with red, covered with like a blue black, covered with a black, now covered by a purple. So I was like, I need a stripper, I need a colour stripper. So I did and it came out this gorgeous brownie blonde shade like oh guys I loved it. Didn't love it so much that night when I had an allergic reaction to it. I got a really bad headache which I thought oh it's just the smell of it, it triggered a headache, I'm fine. And then I started like puking everywhere, I could not stop getting sick, I was so freaked out. I'm somebody with like a super strong stomach. The last time I got sick would have been like I don't even know how long ago. Started puking everywhere getting like fucking chills and hot and cold and stuff and then I broke out in like weird fucking rashes like mump things it was just an allergic reaction to whatever I'd put in my hair so the day after when it had passed I was like well okay I still feel a bit weird but I think I'm okay now and I was looking in the mirror like hey I look half decent I'm okay and then the day after I got up and my hair was like a weird dead flat kind of orange I don't know how that worked. Apparently the colour stripper continued working even after you had like washed it out. So my hair started changing colour. My mother was like, did you dye your hair again? And I didn't. So then we had to go out again and get another hair dye to cover it up. Because lads, it was... <laughs> it was bad, okay. So off we went again down to the fucking supermarket. Picked up another box of hair dye. This one was like a black cherry red, I think. And I thought, yeah, this has to work. Right, three is a charm. Three is not a fucking charm. I put it in, it took pretty well, but the top of my hair now kind of looks black and the sides are like shiny fucking red. I'm probably going to like get it done professionally because I fucked up. But I'm kind of afraid to go to the hairdresser because you know that disapproving look they give you where they're like, your hair is really damaged. I can't take that kind of like insult. I'm like, I know it's damaged. All right, I did it. You don't have to say it to my face. Just fix it, please. So yeah, we're going to stick with this look for a little bit, I would say. <laughs> Another weird thing that happened during the week was Jeffrey Dean Morgan tweeted me. Yep, real life. When stuff like this happens, um, I don't usually like say it because I don't want to be like, Oh my God, he tweeted me. You know what I mean? But this was pretty fucking cool and my mentions have not stopped since he tweeted me. Like, it's been... I can't even look at my phone. My phone is just like blowing... Still blowing the fuck up. I've over 20 fucking mentioned things. Basically what happened was he tweeted about getting bit by his donkey. For those of you who don't know, Jeffrey has a farm and has animals that like to bite him. So he put up a tweet saying that he got bit by the donkey in a picture of a nasty fucking looking bruise. It's manky. Although, to be fair, like, I'm loving the colours in it. There's, you got pinks and purples going on. That's besides the point. So then I quoted the tweet, and I said, so, the point I was trying to make was, most celebrities are hotty totty and they're fancy, you know, with their Range Rovers and their penthouses and their big fucking mansions that have, like, gates and people that shoot you if you look at the house. <laughs> it's a bit extreme. You know, but then you have, like, Jeffrey that's chilling on a farm, taking pictures. Hey, look, my donkey gave me a bruise, taking pictures of it. Like, he's just, he seems, re he's really down to earth and funny. I quoted the tweet saying something like, most normal, you know, actors or whatever living the celebrity life. Jeffrey Dean Morgan being bit by a donkey. I love that dude. And he tweeted me back and he said, so getting ass bit is a good thing. Because I was rethinking my entire life as I jumped eight foot up using every variation of Negan's word. When I read the response to that, I nearly fell out of the fucking bed laughing. Because when I, when I quoted the tweet, it was like night time. I was messing around on my phone, listening to music, and then I was like, okay, it's night time, time to sleep. Put down the phone, I want to check my phone the next morning. It was just like, I had so many notifications that it actually took me a few minutes to actually figure out what had happened. I said actually twice in the one sentence. And I remember laying in bed reading it like, oh, you know when you're half asleep? 
I'm not a morning person at all. So it takes me a good hour to wake up. So I was inside the bed half asleep like that. Because I have desperate eyesight also. Trying to read the fucking thing. Like, what? Jeffrey did what? Thinking, what the fuck is he on about? Because I'd completely forgotten about... Th I tweet a lot, you guys. I'd completely forgotten about the tweet I fucking said about him and the donkey or some shit. So I was like, what is he on about? And then I registered it and I nearly died. I was so happy. That is the last time that I'm ever going to mention somebody in a tweet because they can see the tweets apparently, you know. My sarcastic little fucking ass. I'm almost terrified of like insulting someone or hurting someone's feelings. So, hmm. Thankfully he, he got what I meant that it was a compliment, but it was just fucking mad. Yeah, it was mad. And I don't usually talk about stuff like that when it happens because I don't want to be the person that's like, <laughs> so and so tweeted me. I know I've talked about Melissa, she tweeted me once, um, and Norman as well I think I talked about. But yeah, it's, it was just weird and there's a lot of people retweeting it and stuff, so there's, I don't know, I don't know where I'm going with this point. I should just stop talking. So yeah, I think that's it for today you guys. Uh, I probably should have said this at the start of the video, but yes, I know I look tired. I know. Do you want to comments like I tell me you look sick, you look tired, are you sleeping enough? Probably fucking not, to be honest. But I'm just a pale ass person. I'm a pasty, pale looking bitch, okay? I'm not sick or nothing at the moment, I don't think I am anyway. But I know I look really pale, but at, at the same time I do have a lamp right up above my camera. So the light is like, hitting me straight in the fucking eyeballs, so I do look really ghostly. I also have to change the angle of this video, I don't know if you noticed, but I have to change it to zoom right in and then move a bit because the mess on this side of the room, it is something to behold, you guys. I gotta make it look like I'm somewhat tidy. Spoiler, I'm not. That's it for this week, you guys. I hope you have a lovely week, a lovely weekend, and I'll talk to you all soon.